G'day guys, it's Imo here from Owl and Imo Handmade and today I thought I would show you a little bit more of Goldie's nursery. She's just turned four months old so I thought it was a really great... and that's her crying now. I don't know if this is going to work. Alrighty guys, let's see how we go. Fingers crossed she stays asleep. She's just going into her second cycle, which is always a little bit hit and miss. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you an update of the nursery, some beautiful things that we have, things that we've made, things that we've loved, things that we couldn't live without. Uh, she's four months old, like I just mentioned, and she's so beautiful. She is this gorgeous little thing with so much energy and light in her eyes and laughter and Al and I are just like loving every single moment of being with her and obviously you know you learn a lot about patience being a new parent but it's also kind of shows you this unbelievable love that you never thought even existed with inside you so um, we are loving being parents so far but uh, this one is about her nursery about kind of motherhood and some things that I found really helpful Food, so nourishing the mother. Um, I started drinking these smoothies during my first trimester because I was feeling really sick and I just found that putting something in my tummy first thing in the morning really settled it and made me um, have a much easier and better day. I actually continued to drink these during um, once Goldie was born because I was finding that it would hit like 4 p.m. and I hadn't eaten and I was just focusing so much on her and making sure that she was fed and that she was changed and that she was sleeping and happy that I was really forgetting about myself. So I got back onto the smoothies and I've made it part of my daily routine to have them every single morning. And I've found that it actually really helps with my milk supply. So on the days that I miss doing it, I find that I'm a little bit dried up by the afternoon. So I've got the recipe for that and I'll pop it down below for you. So I just thought I'd talk about feeding Goldie is exclusively on breast milk. Uh, however, at four weeks, we did introduce a bottle purely because I just wanted to make sure that she would take one. We did try the Medela rubber bottles, uh, the Medela plastic bottles, sorry, um, and she didn't like them. Uh, but we did move on to the baby quaddle, the glass with a rubber kind of teat, and she really um, took to these, and she still likes them to this day. Um, I didn't start expressing until that kind of four-week mark, and I really regret not capturing all of that liquid gold in the early phases. I really wish that I had one of those, like, Hucka suction cap things to capture all of that beautiful milk that you produce in the first few weeks that just went straight into nursing pads. Uh, that's my one regret and next time around I will definitely be using one of those little suction things. I know it's really hard for a lot of people so I guess just be kind to yourself. Um, we had a pretty cruisy transition into breastfeeding. I did do antenatal expressing um, from 37 weeks and I just used to sit in bed, I listened to some really relaxing music and I would hand express into like a little plastic cup and then I would suck it up into a syringe. Um, by the time I went to hospital I had like a bag of 30 syringes uh, which was really helpful because Goldie was born um, classified as small at 2.8 kilos so they really wanted her to put on weight before we left the hospital. So after all of our breastfeeds, we actually topped her up with the colostrum. Al would put it on his finger and feed her. And we actually continued to do that for the next two weeks after we brought her home from hospital. She didn't lose any of her birth weight and she actually just put on weight. And um, it was just really good for me mentally to know that I had this supply of milk there for her. So I thought that if breastfeeding didn't happen quite naturally, if it took a little bit longer, if my nipples were chafed, if... For some reason it just wasn't happening and we didn't have that kind of connection straight away. I knew that I had milk there for her and she wouldn't go hungry. So I think just mentally I was in a really great headspace when it came to breastfeeding and that's something that I really recommend if you can do. Um, it does take a long time and at first I only got a little bit but over time um, I just kind of, kind of got that supply up and by the time we went to hospital I was expressing three times a day. The next thing would be is I've just finished my postnatal Pilates. I do it every morning here on the floor in Goldie's room. I lock the door, I make sure Al takes 
Goldie and Edwina out and I have my baby free me time here and I'm doing fluid form postnatal Pilates. It's online. The classes range between like 12 and 17 minutes. So they're really achievable and they're really slow. So it's like, you know, you're really just working those small muscles to build your muscles back up after having a baby. Um, I can definitely feel that my abs are coming back together. I can feel more strength in my arms and it's really important for me to be strong because I'm always helping Al lift heavy furniture. So I really want to work on that strength. That's something that's really important for me. I just thought it was worth mentioning this set that I'm wearing. It's by Lululemon and it's just their like high-waisted yoga Pilates tights with their boyfriend t-shirt. Um, I loved the t-shirt because it was really long. It covered my bump. I wore this set throughout my entire pregnancy and I can still wear it now and it still looks really great. Um, I think it's really worth having something comfortable that you can wear when you come home from the hospital that you don't feel really disgusting in. And throughout my pregnancy, I only really bought clothes that I knew that I'd be able to wear afterwards. I didn't really go down the whole like maternity wear route. Um, and so this was a great set. I love the big baggy t-shirt. I love the tights. They're super comfy. I can still wear them now. They feel really flattering. Um, and yeah, just I'd say this is a great kind of set to invest in if you want something comfortable to wear throughout your pregnancy, post-pregnancy, and then when you kind of start feeling more like yourself again. Um, and then in terms of the nursery, we spend a little bit of time in here, not a lot so, like not too much because Goldie's not sleeping in here yet, but she does have a lot of playtime in her cot and obviously we use the change table a lot as anyone who has a baby knows you're changing a lot of nappies. Um, but yeah, I'll just give you a little bit of a tour and show you around. But if you do have any questions um, that you want to send through, please send them to me. If you've got any tips or other things that you think would be really helpful, please let me know. Um, if I forget to mention something, just pop it in the comments and I'll make sure sure to get back to you but I really hope you enjoy this video um yeah enjoy all right let's see how far we get while she's sleeping so this will take you through to her nursery and if you watched any of our DIY videos you will recognize a lot of the things you see in this room First of all is this little bookshelf that we made and I just love having all of these like gorgeous little clothes hanging up on here. Uh, we've got the change table and drawers, and this is a DIY project that you can access the plans to online. We use this a lot. And my favorite view of this room is probably sitting here and watching Al change her nappy there. Um, so basically the change table on the top comes off so we can use it as a chest of drawers once she's no longer a little baby anymore. But what I love about this is it's got like all of her things in here that we use so we can reach the nappies really quickly. I've got this which has like, you know, little cotton buds, her nail clippers. We've got in here like all of her bath time stuff so I can easily access all of that. Um, and then also, oh, you need it. If your baby has a dummy, make sure you have a dummy clip. So this is a leather one from Atley and Co. And I swear to God, we use this so much. So I make sure I keep it here so we never lose it. Um, what else? Oh, one of these, a booger sucker. So this sucks out the boogies from her nose and I use that every single day. You know, nasal spray, um, moisturizers and creams. To be honest, we don't use a lot of moisturizers and creams, but we've got them there just in case, but we've been pretty lucky so far. And um, that's the daisy DIY I did. You can see some of the daisies have fallen. So if you do that project, make sure you use some glue. Um, this is a print that my best friend Mia gave me and it really kind of set the tone for the whole room. She gifted me this at my baby shower, like right in the beginning of the early phases. And I just love the colors and I've used that for most of Goldie's room. Um, we updated the handles on the doors of this cupboard, um, just with timber ones. And we've got the DIY for that online as well. So I'll link that for you below. But before they were just these like silver handles. This is also a rental property. So updating the handles of your wardrobes and stuff can be a really great way to like update a room and make it look really cool. Um, next I would say is our rocking chair and Al and I worked on this and it was really hard. <laughs> But we got there in the end. We had a lot of trial and error, a lot of testing, a lot of patterns, a lot of redesigning and kind of checking it out. Um, the rock is perfect for me and I'm 160 tall, um, but it's a little bit too mellow for Al. But I'm the one that sits in it, so it works best for me. Um, then we've got the 
DIY cushion that I made. Again, you can access the DIY for pl the plans for that online with the pattern. And then I've also made a play blanket and baby quilt. And we use this for like all of Goldie's tummy time. So it's covered in like little spew stains, but super cute. Um, I didn't get around to doing a DIY video for that just because we got real pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have much time to do anything. Um, the rug is by Rugs for Good and it's really beautiful. It's got this like really lovely weave through it. It's plush, it's soft, and it really softens this room and makes it so much warmer. Um, our floors aren't very insulated, so to have that really nice plush rug is really good in here. We have a queen size bed in here. Because uh, I think maybe when she gets a bit older, if she's having a tough night, that we can come in here and I can feed her and whatnot. Um, we also opted to get the Peace Lily Latex Eco Mattress in here as well. So it's a really comfy bed. And the bed linen, I know you're going to ask, it's by Sage and Claire. Um, it's this beautiful, lovely quality. Um, and I think the colours in here are just really, really nice. Uh, this is really good. It's like a little lounger that you can put baby in. Um, this one's by Bubba Bump. And it, this is great because you can put it on your bed, you can put it on the couch, you can put it on the table. Like we just carry this around the house with us and put her in it kind of anywhere. Um, this is definitely worth mentioning. This is the one of the best baby gifts we got. It's a personalized first aid kit. It's got Robert's family written on the top, which is just so freaking cute. Um, but it's got all of the kind of like your medical stuff in it. And I love, like my, th my three things are practical, beautiful, functional. And if it ticks those three boxes, then it's a winner with me. And I love this. Like it's got, you know, everything you need in it. So if you're looking for a gift for someone, um, oh my God, it's just yeah, epic. They're by Rhythm First Aid. And I highly recommend. Where are we? Let's go to the ladder. So Al and I made this ladder. It's one of our DIY projects. Again, you can access the plans for it online. You can access the video. We created a video of how to make it. And we use this to like hang her towels, her swaddles. And if you look down here, these are all knitwear by my grandmother in New Zealand. She just has not stopped knitting since Goldie was born. And they're just so sweet. So I've got them all hanging up there. Then we've got some lovely little outfits. This one's by Marlo and May. And I love it, but I just think it's going to be too cold for her to really wear it, unfortunately. This is the cot that Al and I designed and made. Um... And we can actually lower it when she gets a little bit older. And then we can also take all of the rails off and it'll become a toddler bed. A lot of people have asked if we are making these and we're not at the moment because we're just so booked out. And I just think, you know, we're already nine months booked out. So people are going to want a cot way earlier. They're pregnant. They want a cot. I would not have waited nine months for a cot if I was pregnant. So... You know, that nesting vibe, I know you want your room finished by the time the baby comes. And speaking of, we were building this in the workshop. And as soon as I saw that it was going to be ready, um, my contraction started. So, um, yeah, that's a pretty funny story. But I love this cot. I think it's so beautiful. The cot sheet is um, by Sage and Claire as well. And it's this beautiful, lovely linen. And then the baby gym, Al and I made that as well. And we didn't plan this at all, but it actually fits perfectly in the cot and we've got these beautiful um baby toys for the gym by arab uh by arabella and autumn and this is like a teether so she can chew on that and she started grabbing onto these and playing and we put her in the cot all the time under the birds and she just has the best time playing um you're probably going to ask where these birds are from and i bought them as christmas tree decorations years ago with the intention of one day using them for our baby so i have no idea where you could source those again the bookshelves we made those as well again you can find the diy plans for that online so many beautiful books. We read these all of the time. Um, my girlfriends in Cairns have this great idea that baby showers, they, instead of giving cards to their friends, they give books and they write messages in the front. So, so many of those books have beautiful little messages from all of my girlfriends back home. Um, so, I just think that's a really lovely thing to do. 
Goldie's got some lovely little toys here. These are all from like family members and our best friends. We've got this beautiful big complete edition of Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie. And when Goldie was a little baby in my tummy, we called her Gum Nut. So I just think that's really lovely. And we've been trying to read that to her, but she falls asleep too quickly. Um, and anyone who's watching my DIY project at the moment for Feast Watson, you'll notice that this is the side table that I was working on and it's found a beautiful home in Goldie's nursery. So it's really lovely in here. This is a rocker that um, we've got. It's by Quacks Baby and it is really good. We carry this around the house with us. We put it on the kitchen bench while we're making meals. We put it in the workshop while we're working and Goldie just loves to kind of chill out there and hang out with us. Um, what else can I show you? Uh, in the top drawer. So this is where we keep kind of all the essentials. So obviously we've got nappies, we've got wipes. One of my girlfriends told me, one of my girlfriends told me, go and buy a massive packet of cloth nappies and just have them with you everywhere. And it is one of the best tips that we were ever given. So I literally, you know, when we're changing her nappy, we put one down. When I was feeding her, I used them as spew rags. I've got them in my bedside table drawer. I've got them in the car. I've got them in her bags. I've got them in the lounge room. Like we have these everywhere and they are so good. Put them under her for tummy time because she's a really spewy baby. Um, so that is one of my number one tips. Thanks, Caroline. Um, here I've got like all of her sleep sacks and her bed linen. And then, you know, when she's old enough, she's got stuff ready. She's got food stuff ready to eat. So these are really cute as well. That's it for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video about Goldie's nursery. Like I mentioned, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll give you an update a little bit later on when she's a bit older. Thanks for tuning in.